Hey guys, check out realfactory.com and use Owen FIFA at checkout for a discount. We do everything guys, comfort trade and um, player trades, everything like that. Look if you see here, all for a great price. Um, they do lots of different prices of coins, so a million, 100k, whatever you want. And all the players like De Bruyne in form, all the team of the year, stuff like that. And also guys, you do have a 24-7 support series where you can even look at your tickets that you've bought. There's sort of chat option and loads of different questions and answers, so you'll have no problems at all. But yeah guys, check out Mule Factory and use Owen FIFA at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on today and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm going to be showing you today basically how I make a lot of my coins. So it's going to be with the chem style method. So if you have up to between at least 500k and up to a million, so you know that Zanetti there, that was a trading deal. I did get all these deals in the space for about 20 minutes and I'll show you how, um, actually to be fair, if you look back on the video that I uploaded first time back, it showed you this method, but I'll kind of show you again. I'm going to go and list some of them and kind of show you how much coins I make on these. These are mostly just like, some of these could be losses, like I don't, I'm still getting used to trading again, but I'm going to show you on an average because I don't want to like, lie about it, if you know what I mean, I'd rather show you what I do. There's going to be a long video today, so strap yourselves in for some brilliant entertainment. Um, but you see here, this guy, we can sell him for about 53k. That'll be the first one, I mean, we should get 53k for him at least. Um, so we paid 46, I can't complain too much at that. Let's say it's 3k tax, it's still about 3k profit, so yeah, not too bad. Then we have Lukaku on to watch, we got for 29k. Um, Obviously, again, in a hunter, so we'll go for all the hunter players first to make it a little bit faster. Uh, we'll go with 30, I don't know, let's just put 35 in here, and 20, 27 in here to try and filter him out a bit, because he's a bit of a nightmare. So you'll see here, we're selling him on for about 33 and a half, maybe 34, yeah, we'll go 33 and a half. You don't have to be cheapest, that's the thing, these cards, that's another good thing about this, you don't have to be the cheapest on the market. So 33 and a half, let's get it's 1.5k tax. A little bit of money, 2k tax, it's about 1.5k profit, which isn't a lot again. But you think the volume and like speed you pick these cards up at, it doesn't matter too much. And then we have Kai Havertz here, and um, this guy's converted into a right forward as well, which is quite good because a lot of people want to play him there more than other positions. Um, so we'll just go in here. I think if we put if we put forward him, will it bring up um, just as man of the match? No, but it'll be able to filter out a little bit better. Because this informs a little bit more expensive. So that's what 55 in here. Um, it doesn't really help at all, does it? So 54, 48 is very cheap. Uh, 46, 41. Jeez. 41, 40. Is he in packs now or something? I think I might have messed up here. 41. It's, oh no, no, sorry, I thought I paid 44. That's fine then. So I'll sell one for 41. That's a really good profit, actually. About 5k, 4k maybe after tax. And then we have um, John McGinn next here. This is a bit of an interesting one. John McGinn and a hunter. I'm not sure if it's going to be any good. But we'll take out everything like that. And then that's just striker. One second. Um, so we'll just go in and put like 23k. <coughs> Jeez. I'm sorry if I didn't get edited out of the video as well because I'll probably forget. I'm in a massive rush to make videos. So if it isn't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am genuinely sorry if that's in the video. So about 21k. I know I'll forget, that's the thing. And just feel free to have used me in the comments, a bit lazy. Um, so 20.750 there, another 2k profit. I'm really sorry for that sneeze, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Zhao Victor here. This is an interesting one. I've never ever seen this guy before on a deal. So I kind of panicked and just bought him, but I'm pretty sure. I do normally trade on the web app because it's easy to skip pages. Like, So if you're ever wondering why it's hard, this isn't the guy, is it? Is it? No, what's his name again? I've forgotten his name, for God's sake. Is it Zhao Victor? Yeah, if it's Zhao Victor now. It is. <sighs> let's try again. Uh, let's put Victor in. It might be easier because let me know it's the Zhao. The one that says Zhao anyway. Zhao Victor, there he is. Let's just put Hunter any and go through. 47, 40k there is getting picked up. That's a fact. Uh, let's start off for 40, yeah, of course. Um, so let's start off for 47k. Um, it's a nice profit again, actually. Um, we got him for what, 37, I want to say? 38. So yeah, nice little profit there. Um, obviously, a decent amount, 5 or 6k. And then we have Rebic. This is an interesting one again. One again that I'm not 100% sure on because, I mean... Who really wants to buy Revic? That's an interesting one. So 40, 29. So about 28 and a half um, for him, which I don't think is actually that bad. I think I paid 23. 
28-25, so yeah, it's not as good as what I thought, but to be fair, it's, again, on the player like this, 2k coins, Zaniolo is next, Zaniolo even, um, let's see what I got for him, uh, Zan, I should have put in more of his name, that's fine, it's the right wing, right mid version of him, so I'll put 18 in, just to see what's occurring, 18, uh, he's quite cheap actually, he's 15, um, I don't know what I paid for him, Hopefully not much more than like four thirteen k. I can get that's a deal. There we go. We can get fourteen and a half for him anyway. So we'll list this one up on the market at fourteen seven fifty. And then if we got the other one, we'll list it up at fifteen or fourteen five, depending on what I paid for him basically. So let's have a look here. Fourteen. It's right wing actually. We'll go fifteen. It's a great deal actually to be fair. Um, nice little profit there. And then we have Diego Jota, which we paid fifteen k for. Um, Again, I'm not too sure what he goes for, but I imagine it'll be. We'll go with 25 in here, see what comes up. 22, that's nice. Again, 22, 750. We're some nice coins. I'm just doing this method till I go up to like two or two, two and a half mil. Like, and then basically, what I'm going to do is go back to icon trading because that is where the money's at. But um, yeah, we have Haaland here, so 4k. Ignore this trip here, pretend you can't see it. Um, it's a shit profit. And then we have finally Greg. Gregoritz, Gregoritz, or something. And um, let's go and list him up. This video should be out on Tuesday. These deals were all picked up on um, Sunday. Sorry, it's a 15k for him. It's Sunday at seven o'clock at the moment. So this video should be out Tuesday or Wednesday. I might leave it for Wednesday. But to be fair, I my idea is actually going to be I don't upload on a Wednesday because views are normally always down because it's um, team of the week for some reason. I don't know what it is about Wednesdays. But yeah, as you know guys, I'm going to be back like literally every day apart from maybe one day a week. That's going to be the plan from now. So hopefully you'll join me in watching my videos again. I have obviously missed doing this quite a lot. 30k, that is looking quite tasty. Let's see at 35. So yeah, we'll list it up at 33 and a half. It's another 1.5k. It's basically coins that are just sat here because I'm not going to do any more trading tonight, I don't think. I'm going to try and maybe make one more trading tip video. So I'm at the moment after that work, I'm at work till the 2nd of April and then after that I will be here full time. <laughs> I'm going to see how it goes and um, try and go full time, see if it goes to plan. If not, I'll be back in a new job. Um, but yeah, we're going to hope. That's the plan anyway, we can hope. And yeah, with a bit of luck, we'll be here all the time. So this one isn't a great deal, I'm going to go 37 because it's quite an inconsistently priced player, his blend. Um, he changes price a lot, so we'll go with that. Hopefully, it'll sell on. Then we have Luca Digne, which we paid 40k for. Again, this one was quite risky, I think. I wasn't too sure on his price, but I just took the punt again because I like sometimes just risking it and seeing how I do on them, like testing myself. So, yeah, it was a good deal, which is good. Maybe 45. We'll go 44 just to make the quick turnaround because there's a lot of them on the market, which sometimes means he's, he is popular, but I'm not going to take the risk because it's weekend league sell off day as well. My phone is currently going crazy, which is annoying, so sorry if you can hear that. Then we have Medell next here, 16,750. This was another one where I wasn't really sure on him, but I think I can get 20 for him. I think that's oh God, um, I think that's his sort of price, so let's have a look here. So I think I've got him 30k here. So we'll go 27,750, drop it down, I think it's about 25, something like that, 20. Yeah, so we'll be able to get, oh God, um, 18. 19 and a half, I think is a good price for him, maybe 19 to 50, which isn't brilliant to be honest, I mean, what do we pay, yeah, so this will be the worst deal we got out of them all, but it's still like a K, so we can't really complain, then we have Tossiglieri, which is a player I have no idea about to be honest, um, again I took a bit of a pump, but we'll see at 50k what's going on, 35, so we get about 35 for him, and then we had, I think it was Klosterman, but I'll just check in a minute because I'm not 100% sure. And something has sold, um, I'm not really sure who at the moment. We have Aurier as well to list up, so, oh jeez. Deal, 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 deal. Yeah, we'll see if that sells, it'll be a miracle. We'll put it up for 29750 because I don't believe that's going to sell for that price. Then we have Klosterman in a shadow here. This guy, you can see, is getting bids of 22k in a normal position, so I'm hoping from a little bit of luck. Uh, Klosterman should sell on for a half decent price. Drop this down here, so 29, 28k we'll go for. And then finally Aurier here, who I think has dropped a little bit. Uh, let's have a look, 15k, we'll go, we'll go 14 to be safe. 
So that's not too bad there. And what sold on? It was Maguire. It's pretty quickly one of the Maguires that sold. So this is up for 14 uh, right there. And this guy was 28, wasn't he? 27. Let's have a look. Uh, 20. Seven. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks so much for watching, we finally made a 10 minute video and we're trying to stick to this and see how it goes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.